Uh, that's right. That's our lab in fact. Hopefully it's working. Okay, so I have a question. Well, after you download it, what um, program do you download it? Because uh, I opened it in Word. I don't think I was supposed to do it. No. Well, after you download it uh, in text format, and then you should open up uh, Excel. Wait, so, wait, you download it in text format? Okay, uh, so do that. Uh, Uh -huh. So here, you see, 
Here this one, if I here the clinical variation here, I click on that, it say C1216 C2T. So that means there is a single nucleotide mutation at the F human MSH2 gene, 1216 position, and change from nucleotide C to T. And how do I know whether that leads to a chaining amino acid or not? I click on that little box, it's, it's going to explain this mutation. Uh, it actually changed at the protein level at 406 position, change from RGD to. The, what the heck is TDR? <laughs> <laughs> it's recording. You know, it's recording. It's not a terminal. terminal. Yeah, so this is actually a terrible mutation. <laughs> this is the, what, what kind of mutation is this? A nonsense. A nonsense. Nonsense mutation. Very good. This is a nonsense mutation. So people have this probably to have some very unfortunate consequences. <laughs> what are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> you can't so talk about uh, uh, someone's unfortunate. You're on camera, Dr. Chen. Yes, yeah. I'm not laughing, but someone else is laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually to show you very sympathetic. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Well, this is a, a nonsense mutation. Yeah, so this is change a uh, RNA to a, a stop coda. So what's the? Um, is the person gonna die? Is the person? Probably <laughs> not. Well, what what does the mutation of MSH2 leads to? Cancer. Oh, cancer. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it could. Yeah. I mean, it basically have a high probability of dying due to elevated colon cancer. Colon cancer sucks. Yeah. Any cancer sucks. Any cancer sucks. So, I'm going to take a screenshot of this. That seems to be a very interesting mutation. Right. So, is this the final sheet that you're looking for? No, we have to download something. No. I have a question. Is it because we download? I press Word. Right, and mine came out. I, you said it's a text document, but it's asking like, should we open it in a Adobe Reader or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. That's actually. Uh, uh, I guess I need a Adobe Reader. No, uh, <laughs> it depends on which operating system you use. So, Okay, so how, uh, I forgot how to do this. How do I get the all this gene? Table browser. Thank you. Where is that? Uh, tools. <laughs> the tool. second one. Table browser. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, okay, then how should I do it? You go to group and you change that to phenotype and... No, publications what? and... No, no, no. Phenotype, phenotype and literature. Yeah. You're right. Where? Third one, right there. And then you go to track, and you change that to the Clint Harvest. This one? Yeah. Okay, then what should I do? You go to... Go down to output file. Output file is next. And you copy and paste something. No, you gotta click on position. The position is already... No, you gotta click on the position. Oh, I didn't click on the position. Excellent. Very good. And then you go to that output file, and you put in a certain... Hold on. What? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, two. I have to How do you know that? In That's class eight. exercise. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and then I say get output. Okay, let's help this work. And save this. You want to save this as a text file? Wait, where would PC? That's have? fine. You you should all do you the same thing. Save save file. I save the file. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Save the file. Uh, in my case, it it's going to go to a download. I thought it was like a screenshot. Here. I didn't know this. Antivirus. Oh. I'm stressing out. It actually just save as a human something. You got it. Mommy's coming for me. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, it's in 3 o'clock. Let me see, make sure that that is the right. Yeah, that, that is correct. And then I'm going to, uh, this, so it's actually saved as a text file. 
and then I'm going to uh, turn on the Excel. Yeah, turn on the Excel and study uh, blank document. Is it Excel workbook? Blank document? Oh, where did it go? Uh, okay. And then I'm going to go to a data import. Where is data import? Data source, source, source. Get external data import text file. There should be something uh, on those Mac and PC, there should be something called import data. Import from text file. Uh, then I go back to, to find where that file is. Yeah. Enable uh, all file, text file, and then I say. <coughs> Wait, well, you uh, mean with the um, data? And then you, I don't see. Uh, let me see. It just is it's just like. Next one. Uh, this is not working. Uh, no, this is become a long line. Sorry, this is not working. Uh, okay, I guess the. Let me look at my uh, old node. What did I do previously? So, Excel import is having trouble again. I don't have this.
the Google tools, table, table browser. Uh, I'm going to manually type the whole region. The whole region should be uh, Typing, typing the exactly the region I, I show on my uh, instruction menu, the lab menu. Basically, that's what I'm doing. Uh, that's, that will cover the entire and that takes two regions. Yeah. Otherwise, it just takes a small chunk of it. It looks really weird. Then, uh, entire region position there. Uh, that's the, that, that should be the and that's the region. Wait, what about the output? Oh, right. Uh, output, I'm going to say version 3, and this is my third file. Uh, save the file again. Uh, okay, number 3. Okay, finally. This looks right. Yeah, this looks right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this looks right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, copy the entire thing, copy, and then go back to my Excel. Uh, Excel, new workbook. And then I just say paste, see whether this will work. Sometimes it works. Ah, excellent. See, I just copy and paste and it's working. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I just did the copy and paste and I, I get all the steps information. Just highlight everything, copy and paste. Although, uh, that's much yeah. like no, it's 3,400 and I'm going to say it's about 3,000 and 400 and I'm going to say it's about 3,000 and 400 and I'm going to say it's about 3,000 and you want to, we want to get the clinical step variation information. Okay, now I have five regions. <laughs> oh, excellent. So I what do these, thing, these things mean? So this is basically uh, called single nucleotide uh, polymorphism or variation. Uh, if you look at the title, it actually has some uh, acronym. Uh, so Number of chromosomes, how many chromosomes a human has? Um, two chromosomes. How many chromosomes? Oh, 46. I didn't mean to say 23. I didn't mean to say two. I'm so yeah. sorry. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm just tired. Okay, okay, yeah, sorry. And those are the, it start at the one position and uh, another position. If you, and then that's a name. This is the coding. See, that's actually the first name we see. Number four from C to something. Uh, if I uh, uh, oops, uh, yeah, C to uh, G to A, and uh, that's something called single nucleotide variant. Uh, a gene ID that must be MSH two. A gene ID clinical significance. And no significant. That basically nobody studied. My my understanding is at the very first at the very beginning in region of amino acids that's actually not very important. Oh, uh, hold on. This is something called SNP ID. Uh, uh, the origin in German means it's entirely uh, assembly, uh, genome sequence assembly, uh, golden, uh, uh, GRC, I forgot what it is. Hey, I did it. Golden something. You just have uh, This is actually very important. What is this? MN uh, underline 
zero 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 two five one, and then there's NP underscore triple zero two four two. What is that? NM. That's the mm -hmm. mRNA sequences of this gene. NP is the protein sequences of this gene. That's what. So. So if if we want to identify the mutation, uh, how how which amino acid this mutation is affect, we should look at which record, which gene bank record. N P underscore triple zero two four. That's the. Usually, if we want to look at what again? If we want to look at, if we want to align humans. MH2 with yeast and MH2 oh. to find out the, where the mutation from man from human to yeast, we should use the MP triple zero two four two for the human MH2 protein. Oh. So this is the screenshot you want. Yeah. You want the screenshot to move away? How well, how, how also a longer way. No. Oh. 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 You have to. Oh. Yeah. Look at my instructor. You had all the no, screenshots. No, 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 no. Oh. That wasn't in there. I thought this is our final screenshot. No, no, no. Well, well, uh, that's fine. I saw your final result, so you can submit the, this one too. Yeah, but unless, you, unless I see it, I don't write. Oh, I, I, I guess you all reached this, but okay. I, I guess you don't have to submit a lot. as long as I see your Excel file is right. I, I That's because you have, those, are, those are the entire genome. That's not a snippet of uh, The file of this is so big, so it's free. No, you are sticking the entire region of the MS. You have to pick the whole genome, the entire human genome. That's why it's free. Then you are not picking the right region. You should, you should follow the elected manual. Yes. It's, it's on the menu. No, I have a lab instruction. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Dr. Chen. Yes. Do we have to, um, you want us to try this on your own? Uh, as long as I can see the right one. Hold on. This is correct. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, let me, let me. Just type a root call and find the map so I see it. Fine. 
find the name of Okay, it's highlighting here, process you can see, but I don't know where it is. It's, it's, um, uh, I need to it's in the uh, R. What? It's in R, the, um, the column R, somewhere. Yeah, how do I know that? Oh, I see. Column R twenty one. I see. I see on the on the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, so you can see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pathogenic. Yes, it makes sense since it's the uh, basically plantation. So the step ID usually starts with RS. So, so if I Google this, it's probably not very helpful, but if I add it, the uh, step ID usually starts with RS. RS. Uh, why call it RS? I'm not sure. Maybe you can Google find out. But if I Google RS, this number, is, you see, it pops pop out a lot of information. It actually shows from our edge, you see the pathogenic meal. It's also SNP media, look, look like Wikipedia for SNP information. And there's also a TV SNP uh, and, and sample. But I guess for consistency, this all use RNA. That way, uh, I guess that way, it, uh, it, at least we, it's easier for the exam to say if we ask you some information. So uh, this is a, uh, uh, whoops, uh, where did it go? Uh, this is a SNP, RS6375118. And you see this in a formal statement as well, that's us. A uh, single nucleotide variation is a change from C to T in the, in the germ line. It's with pathogenic pathogenic allele. Uh, and then at, at the bottom you see an uh, integrated map. Look at the chromosome. Uh, if you think about it, the human genome has so many nucleotides. How do we know which position it is? That it turns out we really we are really not sure. But you see the position actually change from time to time. It also depends on who builds it. Which company? Is it? So it's actually is is the actual position actually there's no one correct answer. So, but we all know the mutation is the the actual uh, coordination actually change from different versions of version. That's why when we publish something, we always have to say which which version of genome we are looking. That's a uh, part of the bookkeeping for human for genomics study. Oh, so those number so that's so the that chromosome position? Position and this is on the chromosome. this is called assembly. Okay. So I mean we put all those uh, DNA together, that's an assembly of the human genome. Mm -hmm. Those are assembly members of versions of uh, GRCH, I'm not sure, but Solero used to be a company that's the human genome sequences. Uh, Various types. NCBI, I guess, that's how you use NCBI. I don't know what those are. So, but you can see this one actually already due to 104. It's actually tried many times just to get it right. So, it's probably going to be updating still with, with so many genome sequences. It's still going to be updated. So, uh, but this one actually doesn't tell the actual mutation nature, so, so it, uh, this help? Uh, maybe at the bottom. Uh, oh yeah, it actually tells you this is stop, 
stop to an output. Exactly how you this check to a stop to an output. Function G model, snip to MI for position 1157. Position 1157, that seems to be different from the one we looked for UCIC. And MP, that, that should be a person. So from all oh, from CGA, see? That you tell you from CGA to TGA, so that's a change of stop to them. Yeah. So how do you, so, so I guess if we give you a SNP ID, uh, we can ask you some information like what is the nature of this SNP application. That's, at least we, I guess in that case we'll tell you, this is something called the NCBI, database for SNP, DP SNP. So that's basically NCBI DB step. Uh, let me see what else uh, on, my, on my list. Okay, so, oh, firstly, we are going to do the FOA essay. So I look at some of your reading assignment. If some of you didn't write the correct answer, why we have to use FOA essay? So first day we are going to do FOA asset to measure the function of mutant MSI2. Uh, why do we have to use uh, FOA? So okay, let me do a quiz here. So not quiz, so online. online. Sorry, what? That's a, that's so what that's are we don't use. Oh, I should have used quiz. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, Euro 3 plus, uh, in fact, uh, you, you, you can actually look at the Wikipedia. Say, uh, the wiki page has everything. Yeah. Euro 3. Oh, actually, actually I have a personal experience with the uh, FOA and Euro 3. So my first uh, 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 start my graduate school, I rotated in the East Lab. It's like a very famous East College called Bank Boxing. He's all at the uh, But at that time, he's, he just started. He also a junior faculty. So I start, attended his lab meeting and with a technician. And so, oh, we have a new person. Uh, and he started talking about FOA. But uh, I sit there completely lost. And then he realized, so, do you know FOA? I said no. He said, "Oh, that's why." Right. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 But that's that's how I know that the way. <laughs> so, but, I know. So if 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 I uh, uh, five F away, so which one which one will live on those plates? If you have F away. Yeah. So. Then. This one will live. This one should be bad. Yeah. And uh, if I. Um, this is a media. If there's a media without the URSO, which one will live? The, not the media. This one will live. Yeah. This one will not because it cannot synthesize URSO. This one will be dead. So basically, uh, Euro 3 is a marker we can select for uh, negative, we can also select for positive, wild type. So we can select both positive. So, so it's, it's, it's a very useful marker in the so. Okay, so that's Okay, I guess you also remind me we have good class. Okay, let's summarize what we've learned today. <laughs>
Glucose is present, then lactose takes the role in place of glucose. I just didn't know that personally, so that's what I learned today. Okay, so it's basically lack of probably the, the CMP. I said, oh, oh yeah. that's called catabolite repression. What? <laughs> <laughs> the, the actual concept when glucose is there, uh, lactose will not be utilized. Yeah, that this, this phenomenon is summarized uh, as. Catabolite repression. Catabolite repression. That's yeah, the, the official text okay. textbook word. Well, I learned catabolite repression. What did you learn, Kayla? <laughs> well, I learned when glucose is present, uh, the C A M P is low. Okay. Yeah. So, so glucose is it's like uh, the balance. Glucose is high, C A M P is low. When, when glucose is low, C A M P is low. And then when lactose and glucose or glucose are high. Then uh, <laughs> your, your voice is too, too low. When, when lactose and glucose are high as well, isn't it the CAMP, isn't it low? Uh, it low? Actually, no, lactose doesn't glucose. influence too much on the CAMP. Okay. But the glucose. Yeah, yeah for, for this class, we can, just, we can just say lactose is not good to influence the CAMP. Okay. Yeah. Kevin, what did you learn? Oh, I, I'm sorry, I can't. Sam, are you copying the files for You work out how to copy a text file to Excel again. No, but that's useful. That's, that that is that. useful. <laughs> okay. Okay, John, what did you learn? I uh, really learned one by one. <laughs> this what? is crazy. Uh, okay. Eric. Hey, no. That's a good exercise. No, no. no. Oh, we don't. I learned that we don't have a lack of It's only in bacteria. But we use it to study, use that to study or understand lactose and how it works inside of human, or human body. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Um, okay. I learned that if there was a mutation in the CAP or CAMP, then no genes will ever be expressed. So it will always be off. That's right. Okay. Good. I learned about CMP, which is.
Okay, so actually, just to a quick summary, so on, on Thursday, we are going to use the FOA to measure the mutation effect on Euro 3 function, which what it means, if the Euro 3 is completely off, then the cell will be alive, and then we will see a lot of colony. In fact, that's what the part of the reading assignment of the figure in the GAMI paper. Yeah. So, so if the for those mutation you study, if the mutation is severe, uh, a very severe mutation, so you will see a lot of live cells. Okay. If it's a perfect wild type, it will be dead. There will be nothing there. So this is, uh, so this is uh, something called a negative selection. So if it's uh, a very weak mutation, there will be some plus function, then you have a very little cell. So, so basically based on the cell number of the colony on the plate, even, you should be able to tell which mutation have, have small uh, 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 damage on a wild type MSH2 function. So the stuff we did last, what's it? Last Thursday? Yeah, last Thursday. Well, what? Like, we were trying to see where the, uh, the, what the, um, the tray? The, uh, oh, the transformation plate. That's right, yeah. So your transformation plate is here. So you can take a look at it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. The transformation plate is here. Uh, I don't, I, I'm not sure which one is the research Did we work this on the March 30th? Last Thursday, is it March 30th? March 30th. March 30th. March 30th. It's Monday, right? Okay, I'm going to see and KS on the day. That's me. That's me. I'm going to do two. Are we working soon? Yeah, that doesn't look like a, it's, it's, um, 